Unitarian Universalists are sometimes accused of being somewhat deficient when it comes to having a doctrine of sin. And that might just be true. We are generally optimistic about people. We like to talk about learning and growth and becoming, and we tend to step aside from your more classic understandings of the central place of sin in religion. But I've come to believe that as Unitarian Universalists, what we have is not so much a doctrine of sin as a doctrine of mistakes. We know that people make mistakes. We know that mistakes are important but maybe a little bit different than the notion of sin. But I think you could look at mistakes using the same kind of classification that the Catholic Church does. In the Catholic world, and perhaps some of you who are Catholic or were raised Catholic are familiar with this, there are venial sins, which are the small sins, the ones that you didn't really intend. And we certainly know that there's a whole category of mistakes that are venial mistakes. They're just that. Mistakes. Accidents. Carelessness. The important meeting that you simply forgot to attend. The vase that you dropped. The words that turned out to be unkind, not because you meant them badly, but because they were just heard differently than you intended them. My general response for these kinds of mistakes is the classic phrase, oops so oh well. Oops so oh well, it's a venial mistake. You didn't mean it. Now, it's possible for venial mistakes to be serious. Say an animal or, God forbid, a child on a bike races out in front of your car and you hit them. It would be devastating, but it would still be just a mistake. You can apologize and you can move on because you really were doing the best you could in that particular moment. That's a venial mistake. But in the Catholic world there are also mortal sins, and the mortal sins are where you get serious because the mortal sins are the ones that you really choose. And those are the more serious mistakes, too. The ones that aren't the mistakes of accident, but the things that you look back on and go, that was a mistake. The ways that we choose our own comfort over the needs of others. Mortal mistakes are things like marital infidelity lying to get away with something. Greed in all of its various forms, embezzlement, stealing. There are things that do something for you in the short term, but at some cost to somebody else. And you can't just come back to them with an oops so well. They aren't oops so well, they're things that you have done wrong and for which you need to make amends if you want to make things right. And then we get to the big central piece of the notion of sin, which is original sin. Original sin describes the sinful nature of all of humanity, the idea that in Adam's fall sinned we all, that sin comes to us through birth like a kind of sexually transmitted disease, and that we're all flawed, damaged. Unitarian Universalists are not big on original sin, but I think there's something to be said for the notion of original mistake. I think that we are all, every part of this universe, born out of the original mistake. Think about it. What was there before the Big Bang? There was what they call the singularity. Perfect. Incredibly dense, incredibly small. All of everything in this one little static point. And then 
somehow and no one knows, boom, it all blew up in our faces. Only, of course, our faces weren't there. Nobody's faces were there. It was the original moment of the creation of time. And everything comes out of that moment of leaving behind perfection. Because it's only after the explosion, after things start moving and combining and falling apart and falling together, that we have variety, diversity, events. We have stars and we have planets and we have comets and we have life. And implicit in all of that is the notion of mistakes, the notion that nothing can be perfect because it's all changing. That moment of explosion set everything in motion and so there's no longer a possibility of perfection. There is instead creativity, possibility. And I think when you come back down to our own small lives, that's true too. Our mistakes are what make us who we are. Our mistakes are how we learn. Our mistakes are how we change. And so, I invite you to live in that world. In that beautiful, changing world of infinite, original mistakes.